by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, it's good to be back. Big day of boxing tomorrow. There are so many fights on. Uh, Joshua versus Pulev is the boring one, which will be the big fight. Uh, Chris Colbert, who's a sensation, 130-pounder from New York, will be in action. My boy, Bam Rodriguez from San Antonio, Texas, um, leader in the clubhouse or prospect of the year, uh, will be... Uh, on the uh, ESPN card, uh, which is headlined by Shakur Stevenson. Uh, but back to Bam Rodriguez, his stablemate, Virgil Ortiz. Um, he wants to fight, and he's ready to fight, uh, what many consider to be the pound-for-pound pound best guy in the sport, uh, Terrence Crawford. Um, is he ready? So uh, let's let's get right into this. Um, this is what he said, right? Um, the easy it's it's the easiest big fight to make. It would be very good. He went on to say, uh, with Crawford, it's the easiest fight to make. I think it would be a very good fight. With Udonis Ugas, it would be a good fight. And with Spence, he could be already be at 154. Uh, which he's expressed to me too. He said in the past that he you know he wants to fight him and, and they will fight, but he thinks by the time it actually gets made, you know, what with what they have on their schedule, and by the time it's you know it'll sell out Cowboy Stadium, um, uh, he'll be at 154. But Virgil Plans aren't going up to 154, so he'll be a multi-division champ. But he needs to get the first world title first. Um, the first world title could could be the toughest, right? Um, because there's only it's 147, and there's two guys. There's Errol Spence, and there's Terrence Crawford, um, two guys that are on everyone's pound for pound top ten list. Um, so getting that first belt. Could be a daunting task. And I want to get into this. Is Virgil Ortiz ready for this fight? Why not? Why not? Look, I understand that, uh, you know, he's 22 years old. You know, before you throw him in the ring with arguably the best guy in the sport, maybe you want to get him confidence, go get him a strap. And then, you know, give him the confidence and throw him in with Terrence Crawford. There's no belt to get, right? There's two guys at 147 pounds, Crawford and Spence. That's it. Those, they have all the belts. There's no easy belt you can pick up. There's no vacant strap. Yada, yada. There's two guys, Crawford, Spence. That's it. That's it. There's only two guys. Um, I think stylistically, Crawford is a better fight for him. I think he's physically stronger than, than Crawford. Um, I don't know that he can kind of man around and, and bully around Errol Spence. I think he's going to be physically stronger than Crawford. Um, I, I think Crawford now well into his thirties is, has peaked and he's a little bit on the decline. Not that he's not a great fighter. I still have my pound, pound top five. I think I have him at number three, possibly number four. He's a, a sensational fighter, hall of famer, but I, I think he's past his peak just a little bit. And Virgil Ortiz is 22 year old. And he's surging, and he doesn't know how to do anything but destroy people. He's not got everyone he's fought. He's a once in a, he's a once in a generation talent. Virgil Ortiz is that good. It's just a matter of when he becomes a world champion and how many world titles he wins. Uh, Virgil Ortiz is that good. Is he ready though? Right, and, and, and so it's the better style matchup of the two world title uh, of the two champions at 147, right? Cause there's only two belts you can get. He can either get the WBO against Crawford or all the other, uh, all the other belts. I guess you can get WBA against Pacquiao, but I don't think Pacquiao is going to be fighting anytime soon. It's just kind of my inclination, right? So you get the WBA, which I think is just kind of out there. Look, Pacquiao won the WBA a year and a half ago. He hasn't been, even been rumored to fight anyone in a year and a half. Pacquiao's not coming back, okay? And, you know, I don't know what, what goes on in that route. So let's put the WBA to the side. So there's two of the belts, the IBS, WBC, uh, and Errol Spence has both lows. So there's two two guys he can fight. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Who's he going to fight? I don't know. 
Um, Terrence Crawford, he thinks, is, is the easier fight to make. It, it, network-wise, I, I'm sure it is the easier fight to make. Um, a golden boy and top rank has worked together in the past. Uh, Oscar seems to be really chumming up to uh, Bob Arum. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe he thinks this fight is makeable. I think this fight is makeable. Look, Virgil Ortiz is like a, a rookie quarterback an old-world rookie quarterback that you get in the first round. At this point in his career, you don't have to pay him. And I'm not saying Virgil to take the fight on the cheap, but he hasn't earned the – the he hasn't has accumulated the belts and and, and, and and sold hundreds of thousands of papers. He hasn't done that. So relative to Keith Thurman or Sean Porter or, or, or those guys, he doesn't really have a whole lot of ground to negotiate. Right, he needs to get that fight. He needs to win that fight. So I think the fight's easier to make. It's the right style for him, and it lines up. Let's make this fight in April, right? Um, uh, Crawford is a guy who wants to fight twice a year. He only fought once this past year against Kyle Brook in, in 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 a fight where look, he didn't look good until he until he looked great, right? So he never looked good in that point. He he just looked pedestrian, and then he looked sensational, and there was nothing in between. Um, Virgil Ortiz is a guy who's never looked at anything but great. Um, and he destroyed a guy, Samuel Vargas, who uh, arguably beat Danny Garcia. He beat a Ar- Orozco, right, who challenged for a world title. So it's it's not like his resume is a bunch of schlubs. It's not, right? For a guy with limited fights and limited career, Virgil Ortiz is a good resume. Um, now, obviously, he's not for anyone like Terrence Crawford. There's nobody else like Terrence Crawford out there who he can fight, right? I mean, you, you don't come across Terrence Crawford too often. But I think Ortiz is ready. Um, he's physically strong. He's 5'11", right? He's taller. He's physically stronger. Um, he's peaking. He's a beast on the inside. He's, he's offensively brilliant. And uh, Crawford has been fighting his last two fights specifically. He's been taking more chances. He's been slugging more. He's been getting hit more. He's been fighting more on the inside more. He couldn't do that with Ortiz. If he does that with Ortiz, he loses. So there's a path to victory with Virgil Ortiz, a real one. And I would pick Virgil Ortiz in this fight. I just think the timing of it. You got one guy slipping just a little bit and one kid, 22-year-old, who's absolutely surging. And I want to say, uh, what if he doesn't win? Okay. I mean, look, Canelo got absolutely schooled by... By Floyd Mayweather, the pound for pound best guy in the sport at that time. Did it destroy Canelo's career? Was Canelo wrecked? No, Canelo went right in there, beat Angulo, and then fought Laura and beat Laura. Like it, it didn't, it didn't stifle Canelo's growth. It didn't stifle his development. Canelo was fine after taking a bad loss. Now I don't think Virgil Ortiz would take a bad loss. I'm just saying, worst case scenario, Virgil takes a bad loss, he'll be fine. He'll be back. He's 22. He's good. He's good. Um, but it, 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 it's time, y'all. It is time, y'all. And I'm just not saying that because I'm from Texas and Virgil's my guy. Versatile talent. I mean, there's physically gifted, tremendously powerful, has the ability to finish, really, uh, really good boxing skills, throws lots of angles. There's nothing offensively not to like about this guy. And defensively, he's getting much better. You know, a, a lot of times his defense is just moving slightly. Slipping his head off center line, pivoting out of things, right? Um, he's not a defensive wizard, but he's a pretty good defensive fighter. He's a pretty responsible defensive fighter. And then offensively, he's just a, an animal. Now, he's going to have to be an animal. He's just going to have to wear Crawford down and just beat him down, right? Because uh, Crawford's wiry thin, right? I, I, he, you know, he's kind of long and lanky, but he's – Virgil would have to just impose his will on him and just break him down. And that's why I don't think – Spence is, is is stylistically the better matchup. I, I think Crawford is, right? Just styles make fights. And I think stylistically he's got a much clearer clearer path to victory at this point against Terrence Crawford. Now, if I'm wrong and he gets washed by Terrence Crawford, I don't think would happen. All right, he'll be back. What, what do you guys think? Do you think it's too early? Is is it simply too early for Virgil Ortiz? Uh, am I wrong about Terrence Crawford? Do you not see him slipping a little bit? Like, if this fight was two years ago, I'd say, no, nah, this might be a step too, uh, a bridge too far too soon for Virgil Ortiz. But I, I, I think at this stage of his career, 33 years old, I think Terrence Crawford has slipped just a little bit. And, and it's going to take a special fighter. 
look, Virgil Ortiz was our, our, our prospect of the year in 2018. Uh, you know, uh, he was unanimously the prospect of the year in 2019. We like to give our prospect of the year out a little sooner, a little earlier in their career. Um, get to while they're really, really under the radar. Um, and but Virgil is a special talent, right? Like it, it's like looking at Zion Williamson coming up, right? Or, or Trevor Lawrence in the NFL. Like you, this kid is can't miss. He's can't miss. It's all there. Now, is this a step too soon, too fast? Well, there's only one way to find out. But I think he's competitive in the fight. I think he could win the fight. But, I mean, there's only one way to find out. If he's in way over his head, okay, he'll take it out. He'll come bounce. It. He'll bounce back. He'll, and then he'll be on his way again. Right? I understand you want to get him a belt. You, you, unless Pacquiao wants to fight him next, which isn't going to happen because Pacquiao's not fighting anybody next. I don't think Pacquiao defends his title, period. You know, I think he retires and fights Conor McGregor or... I don't know, Jake Paul or something ridiculous. Well, I, I don't I don't think Pacquiao's going to defend the belt. It's been a year and a half. I know he said he wants to fight Spence and this and that. His wife wouldn't let him fight Terrence Crawford two years ago. He's not going to let him fight Spence now. Come on. Um. So uh, I'm kind of putting Pacquiao out of the equation until he becomes active again. Um. But or. or so that you know, there's, there's no belt for him to pick up. There's no easy champion division. There's two guys: it's Crawford and Spence. You know, arguably the two best American fighters in the sport. He's got to have to go through one of them. I think Spence is better. I think Crawford is a better matchup. I think it's a more makeable fight, right? Uh, and he, he, Crawford doesn't have a ton of options. Now, look, Crawford Porter may want to challenge Crawford for the WBO. Um, Bob Arum says he's offered him a million bucks. Which means that they can go to purse bids and try to negotiate it there. Or he can go fight um, Errol Spence again and, and, and mandatory, right? I, I, I don't think I, – I, I was confident Crawford versus Porter was going to happen. After what Bob Aaron said, I don't think that's going to happen. So that means that Porter, who's mandatory with WBO, WBC and IBF, all three of them, can just go fight over there. Just go fight Spence. Try to make that mandatory. Um, that's if Spence and Crawford can't work this out, which I don't think they're going to work out immediately. Um, so if Porter goes that avenue, goes to WBC or IBF avenue and, and tries to exercise that mandatory, we're in the same position that we're always in. Terrence Crawford needs an opponent. There's no better opponent out there than Virgil Ortiz. And Virgil Ortiz is already ranked number two. He's been ranked, ranked number two by WBL. There's no reason not to make it. Let's make that fight. If it's too soon, it's too soon, but I don't think it is. Does he win? He's got a chance. He's got to pay the victory. But it's a great fight. Um, let's make it happen. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is it too soon? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Give me your prediction. Um, am I being a Texas homer here? Am I waving the Texas flag a little too hard here? Is it too soon? I don't think it is. I think you guys should go back and watch Virgil Ortiz. Um, like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't, Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.